and ideas All things I think I see reflect ideas All things I think I see reflect ideas This is salvation's keynote All things I think I see reflect ideas All things I think I see reflect ideas All things I think I see reflect ideas Well, I'm forgiveness teacher from the Ozarks, Willie and we're ready for lesson 325 in A Course in Miracles workbook for students. We're reading from the original edition here on November the 21st of 2023. Lesson 325. All things I think I see reflect ideas. All things I think I see reflect ideas. This is Salvation's Keynote. Must be an important lesson if this is Salvation's keynote, the tonic, the the the, the tone that um, brings it to completion. All this is Salvation's keynote. What I see reflects a process in my mind, which starts with my idea of what I want. From there, the mind makes up an image of the thing the mind desires judges valuable, and therefore seeks to find. Boy, that is a real concise metaphysical explanation of what makes the world we see, our own thinking projected outward. He'll explain. Let's read it again. All things I think I see reflect ideas. This is salvation's keynote. What I see reflects a process in my mind which starts with my idea of what I want. From there, the mind makes up an image of the thing the mind desires, judges valuable, and therefore seeks to find. These images are then projected outward, looked upon, esteemed as real, and guarded as one's own. From insane wishes comes an insane world. <laughs> the, the world's not insane. It's the thinker who's seeing the world. All things I think I see reflect ideas. From insane wishes comes an insane world. From judgment comes a world condemned. And from forgiving thoughts, a gentle world comes forth with mercy for the Holy Son of God to offer him a kindly home where he can rest a while before he journeys on and help his brothers walk ahead with him and find the way to heaven and to God. All things I think I see reflect ideas, and the prayer says, Our Father, your ideas reflect the truth, and mine apart from yours, but make up dreams. Again, Our Father, your ideas reflect the truth, and my ideas apart from your ideas make up dreams. Let me behold what only your ideas reflect, for yours and yours alone establish truth. Let me behold what only yours reflect, for yours and only yours alone establish truth. I expect lots of Course in Miracles students make a huge advancement in their understanding with this lesson. I, be, be aware and awake and be ready for that for that um, revelation. You know, the Holy Spirit knows your revelation readiness. And I expect a lot of the students of Course in Miracles have made major um, awakening and stepping out of the dream into their reality as a result of this lesson, Salvation's Keynote. All things I think I see reflect ideas. Our associated reading back a couple pages, what is creation? Creation is the sum of all God's thoughts, in number infinite and everywhere without all limit. Only love creates and only like itself. There was no time when all that it created was not there, nor will there be a time when anything that it created suffers any change. 
forever and forever are God's thoughts exactly as they were and as they are, unchanged through time and after time is done. God's thoughts are given all the power that their own Creator has, for He would add to love by its extension. Thus His Son shares in creation and must therefore share in power to create. What God has willed to be forever one will still be one when time is over and will not be changed throughout the course of time, remaining as it was before the thought of time began. Creation is the opposite of all illusions. For creation is the truth. Creation is the Holy Son of God. For in creation is His will complete in every aspect, making every part container of the whole. Its oneness is forever its oneness is forever guaranteed inviolate, forever held within his holy will, beyond all possibility of harm, of separation, imperfection, and of any spot upon its sinlessness. We are creation, we the sons of God. We seem to be discreet and unaware of our eternal unity with him. Yet back of all our doubts, past all our fears, there still is certainty. For love remains with all its thoughts, its sureness being theirs. God's memory is in our holy minds, which know their oneness and their unity with their Creator. Let our function be only to let this memory return, only to let God's will be done on earth, only to be restored to sanity, and to be but as God created us. Our Father calls to us, we hear His voice, and we forgive creation in the name of its Creator, holiness itself, whose holiness His own creation shares, whose holiness is still a part of us. All things I think I see reflect ideas. This is Salvation's keynote. Major, major idea in our, in, our, in our learning. All things I think I see reflect what's going on in my mind. So look at your outside world and see what world you're thinking inside. And if you don't like what you see, well then let it go. Ask God for help to see, to value something new inside, something more valuable. Align yourself with what is real. Love, your identity, one with God. Okay, well, let's go look at our manual for teachers reading. And we're ready for uh, number 18. How is correction made? How is correction made? And we'll find this to go really well with our lesson today. Uh, okay, let's look at um, uh, today, holy, what, what, Today's holy days and observances around the world. Alaskatalo Day, Alaskatalo, I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's uh, an Alaskan, kind of a funny observance. Uh, an Alaskatalo is a cross of a moose and a walrus. Uh, not a real cross, but uh, kind of like what we call in, in, in the plains, a jackalope cross between a jackrabbit and antelope. Anyway, a jackalope. Well, this is a, an Alaskatalo. <laughs> and I may not be pronouncing that right. I've never heard it. I've just read it. A false confession day, which I would never recommend anybody making a false confession. A gingerbread day. Uh, and we'll talk about, well, it's a ginger is Zinjibar officinal. And I found this on the spruce. If you want to plant ginger and, and grow it in a pot, um, it, you use a big pot. It's a big plant. Uh, grow it outside as long as you can. Bring it in in the, in the winter. Uh, and it says here that the way to do that is dig up the rhizome, the roots, or you can just buy them at the store, and cut them into one to two inch sections, each with several good growth buds. Let the pieces dry out a day. Then plant them just below the surface in rich, well-drained soil. And then water lightly until top growth develops. And you can read all about it in the spruce.com. What else is, so today is uh, gingerbread day. So you have to grow your, some ginger in order to make gingerbread. 
National Entrepreneurship Day. National Red Mitten Day is a Canadian holiday and supporting the Winter Olympics and all those people that are Olympians in uh, Canada. Red Mitten Day. Uh, National Stuffing Day, getting close to Thanksgiving, aren't we? Uh, stuffing those turkeys. Uh, pumpkin Pie Day, which we're going to talk about another pumpkin in just a moment. World Hello Day, and Hello Day is, what is that? It's a, it's, um, it's a day that uh, basically says that conflict should be resolved through communication rather than violence, force, attack, war. We need to have a lot, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to have a war, there should always be peace conferences going on at the same time. And hopefully we won't have any wars. <laughs> hopefully we can, we can grow up as a species and learn that we, what we do, we do to ourselves, which is basically another way of saying all things I think I see reflect ideas. World Hello Day and World Television Day. And it's a reminder of the relevance of visual media in impacting public perception. And let's hope that I'm impacting public perception uh, in, uh, in this little uh, TV window. Uh, I, I hope that we're learning that all things I think I see reflect ideas. Okay, was there anything else? Oh, I, I said I wanted to talk about a pumpkin. It's the New England Sugar Pie Pumpkin which is a Kirkabita Peppo. And I, I want to read to you what it says out of the um, Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. And it says about the New England Sugar Pie Pumpkin that it's a 100-day pumpkin, the noted small sugar pumpkin of New England. The orange fruit weighs four to five pounds and has fine sweet flesh that is superb for pies. Described by Fearing Burr, in 1863, so it's been around a while, the New England Sugar Pie Pumpkin. Okay, now let's uh, take a look at um, our Manual for Teachers reading. Bringing along the idea with us today, all things I think I see reflect ideas. And this particular uh, reading should help us along understand and even how to do that better. Correction of a lasting nature, correction is of a lasting nature, and only this is true correction. And only this is true correction cannot be made until the teacher of God has create, has ceased to confuse interpretation with fact or illusion with truth. Catch this again. Correction of a lasting nature, and only this is true correction, stuff that's lasting, cannot be made until the teacher of God has ceased to confuse interpretation with fact or illusion with truth. Remember, we never respond to anything directly. We respond to our interpretation of it. That's why we want to see anger not as uh, an attack, but as an appeal for help. <clears throat> if, he argues that his pup if he argues with his pupil about a magic thought, attacks it, tries to establish its error, or demonstrate its falsity, he is but witnessing to its reality. Depression, depression is then inevitable, for he has, in quotes, proved, <laughs> to his mind, both to his pupil and himself, that it is their task to escape from what is real, and this can only be impossible. Reality is changeless, Magic thoughts are but illusions. Magic thoughts are but illusions. Otherwise, salvation would be only the same age-old impossible dream in but another form. Yet the dream of salvation has new content. It is not the form alone in which the difference lies. Two, God's teacher's major, le God's teacher's major lesson is to learn how to react to magic thoughts wholly without anger. Okay, there's the, there's the lesson for the God's teacher. God's teacher's major lesson is to learn how to react to illusions or magic thoughts wholly without anger. 
Only in this way can they proclaim the truth about themselves. Through them, the Holy Spirit can now speak of the reality of the Son of God. Now he can remind the world of sinlessness, the one unchanged, unchangeable condition of all that God created. Now he can speak the word of God to listening ears and bring Christ's vision to the eyes that see. Now is he free to teach all minds the truth of what they are, so they will gladly be returned to him. And now is guilt forgiven, overlooked completely in his sight and in God's word. Paragraph 3. Anger but screeches, guilt is real. Anger but screeches, guilt is real. Magic is real. Separation from God is real. Anger but screeches, guilt is real. Reality is blotted out as this insane belief is taken as replacement for God's word. The body's eyes now, in quotes, see. Its ears alone are thought to hear. Its little space and tiny breath become the measure of reality, and truth becomes diminutive and meaningless. Correction has one answer to all this and to the world that rests on this. You but mistake interpretation for the truth, and you are wrong. But a mistake is not a sin, nor has reality been taken from its throne by your mistakes. God reigns forever, and his laws alone prevail upon you and upon the world. His love remains the only thing there is. Fear is illusion, for you are like him. And that's that italicized portion in, in paragraph 4 that starts off in the end of paragraph 3 by saying, Truth becomes uh, diminutive and meaningless. Correction has one answer to all uh, magic thoughts you might think of, to all illusions, to all appearances of, of lacks of love. Correction has one answer to all this and to the world that rests on this. You but mistake interpretation for truth, and you are wrong. But a mistake is not a sin, nor has reality been taken from its throne by your mistakes. God reigns forever, and his laws alone prevail upon you and upon the world. His love remains the only thing there is. Fear is illusion, for you are like him. Isn't that beautiful? And we'll, we'll add that to our song here in, in a moment. And the last paragraph of this section, 5. In order to heal, it thus becomes essential for the teacher of God to let all his own mistakes be corrected. If he senses even the faintest hint of irritation in himself as he responds to anyone, let him instantly realize that he has made an interpretation that is not true. Wow, catch that. If he senses even the faintest hint you can, we need to be really aware that we're not sleeping and dreaming of anger. So do your meditations early in the morning and again at night. Spend a little longer time and throughout the day, take a moment to pause and find your center. Give God thanks and tell yourself today, all things I think I see reflect ideas. For this is salvation's keynote. All things I think I see reflect ideas. In order to heal, it thus becomes essential for the teacher of God to let all his own mistakes be corrected. If he senses even the faintest hint of irritation in himself as he responds to anyone, let him instantly realize that he has made an interpretation that is not true. Then let him turn within to his eternal guide and let him judge what the response should be. So is he healed, and in his healing is his pupil healed with him. The, the sole responsibility of God's teacher is to accept the atonement for himself. The, interla the interlocking chain of forgiveness is the atonement. Atonement means correction or the undoing of error. You've let go and let God. When this has been accomplished, the teacher of God becomes a miracle worker by definition. <laughs> His sins have been forgiven him, and he no longer condemns himself. How can he then condemn anyone? 
And who is there whom his forgiveness can fail to heal? Wow, the power of forgiveness. And he lets us see that if the faintest irritation is coming about, stop instantly and ask your eternal guide inside for, for a new way of looking at this, to get the miracle, the new perception of the, the, the way to see it and to stay in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, well, let's go look again at our lesson. All things I think I see reflect ideas. This is salvation's keynote. What I see reflects a process in my mind, which starts with my idea of what I want. From there, the mind makes up an image of the thing the mind desires, judges valuable, and therefore seeks to find. These images are then projected outward, looked upon, esteemed as real, and guarded as one's own. In other words, we're looking at the world and we're saying, well, yeah, this is what I'm really seeing. That's really out there. But what he's getting us to, trying to get us to see is, yes, it's really out there because you believe it's out there. And that you believe it's out there because of the values that you are holding inside. And you're making a world that appears to be outside you and affecting you. But you must remember that you're the mover of everything that comes to you. There is no one else to blame or to thank, <laughs> except what we want to learn to do is to thank the Christ in us for all of our perceptions that are tuned in with the Holy One. So again, I'm, I'm, we haven't finished that first paragraph, but I want to, I want to really want to talk. This is such a good metaphysical explanation of, of what makes the world our own thoughts. Let me read it again. All things I think I see reflect ideas. This is salvation's keynote. What I see reflects a process in my mind, which starts with my idea of what I want. From there, from there, the mind makes up an image of the thing the mind desires, judges valuable, and therefore seeks to find. These images are then projected outward, looked upon, esteemed as real, and guarded as one's own. From insane wishes comes an insane world. <laughs> From insane wishes comes an insane world. From judgment comes a world condemned. And from forgiving thoughts, a gentle world comes forth. With mercy for the Holy Son of God, to offer him a kindly home where he can rest a while before he journeys on and help his brothers walk ahead with him and find the way to heaven and to God. All things, I think, all things I think I see reflect ideas, and the prayer says, Oh, our Father, your ideas reflect the truth, and mine apart from yours but make up dreams. Let me behold what only yours reflect, for yours and yours alone establish truth. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's see if we can't... Uh, finish with a little song. All things I think I see reflect ideas. 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 What all things I think I see Reflect ideas. This is salvation's keynote. All things I think I see reflect ideas. What is creation? Creation is the sum of all God's thoughts and number infinite and every. itself. Only love creates and only like itself. There was no time that all that it created, all that it created was not there. Nor will there be a time when all that it created suffers any change. they were and as they are unchanged 
This is salvation's keynote. All things I think I see reflect ideas. You but mistake interpretation for the truth, and you are wrong. But a mistake is not a sin, nor has reality been taken from. It's thrown by your mistake. God reigns forever and his laws alone. Verse prevail upon you and upon the world. God reigns forever and his laws alone. Upon you and upon the world. His love remains the only thing there is. His love remains the only thing there is. Fear is illusion, for you are like him. His love remains the only thing there is. Fear is illusion. For you are like him All things I think I see reflect ideas All things I think I see reflect ideas All things I think I see reflect ideas This is salvation's keynote ideas. All things I think I see reflect ideas. All things I think I see reflect ideas. All things I think I see reflect ideas. I'm sitting out here by my own by my my uh, I've made the sundial. It's in the center where I'm gonna put this greenhouse cabin. And I was just kind of watching the way the shadow, and I've been setting some rocks up at the different hour marks, making my own little sundial out here, just kind of playing. Anyway, just to let you know where I'm at, out here in the middle of my pasture, where I'm going to be putting a little greenhouse cabin. Thank you so much for joining me and studying this. And the word in Russian for peace is spelled M-I-R, and it's, I'm, I'm, I'll do the best I can. I think it's Miar, Miar. And the word for Ukrainian for peace is very similar, M-Y-R, and it's pronounced Mior. So, Mior and Mior, peace. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until tomorrow, all things I think I see reflect ideas. Mior, Mior, peace.